So the question for television uh, networks and producers in the early days of television was where do we get our content and can we take those magazines, those lurid magazines mm. and, and that are so successful that are selling millions of dollars worth of copies and can we make a TV show out of them? That was the question. Well, so these two old guys are going to be answering that question to some extent in today's episode of two old guys at the Vintage Film Channel. <laughs> and we're sitting in the balcony, our virtual balconies, and um, we have just such a conversion of lurid content to TV fare. That was in the early 50s, and they called it Front Page Detective. Yep. From the magazine. In yeah. fact, there's the magazine cover right there, published right. by Dell, who is a name that sticks in my mind for comic books. Um, comic. By the way, Dell is still around today. Yeah. Making yeah. Uh, uh, all sorts of paperback books uh, of various kinds. But uh, this was one of them, 25 cents. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of people bought those uh, yeah. lurid front page detective so magazines. Let's, let's go see a little bit of this lurid uh, uh so Vintage Film Channel, the TV show, the TV show was made uh, in black and white, and um, you know what? It's not a bad show. It's now it's not really lurid like the magazine was, no. all right. But it's a detective uh, show, and yeah. it's an early detective show. It's pretty good. It's based on the premise of uh, this guy who is a columnist, a, a reporter for Front Page Detective. And he works with a cop and they get into uh, murder mysteries and things like that. I think it's a reasonably well done show and it's kind of entertaining. But the wonderful thing is that Grace on Vintage Film Channel has preserved this for us. Oh, no, and no, 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 no. Great. She's gone beyond preserving it. She has, she has enhanced it better than anything she ever got because the yeah. quality of this is probably better than it came across TV oh. in the first place. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure. And particularly if you remember early television with those little boxes, you could barely see this stuff. Right. This looks great. So, and it's not a bad story. The acting's good. The lighting's good. It's yeah. a half hour, half hour uh, noir drama. Um, it's not noir like you'd get in films, you know, not really dark, but right. it's pretty good. And uh, there's always a, a pretty girl or two. Yeah, uh, why just fast forward a little bit, Art, to... Uh, oh, no, uh, we're doing, idea, some, we're doing some legs scenes. going up the stairs, John. I want to, <laughs> you know, I want to... They, they, this is the lurid part. <laughs> they spare, they, they uh, spare no expense. And this is the detective. And yeah. this detective and the columnist get together, and you can see uh, there's a consistency of this little globe, which uh, we we won't spoil it for you. Uh, you watch it through, but it's only a half-hour show, and uh, you know it's it's cheesy, but so are the magazines, and they actually do a pretty good job of bringing that kind of of uh, magazine to uh, the air, and so here here the columnist and the detective are collaborating, uh, which of course you don't see in in real life, and uh, they're questioning uh, a local woman. Here, um, skip forward, Art. There was a section, uh, um, there's a section where somebody gets beat up or something. It's the action scene in the half hour. <laughs> yeah, don't uh, of... don't worry about taking your heart medicine in advance. Um, <laughs> it's not going to scare the crap out of you. But um, yeah, I, I think it was in this apartment where he gets hit. But anyway, he's uh, interviewing uh, one of the suspects or somebody apparently involved in the crime. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's her boyfriend or uh, keeper or something that... Well, this uh, one, this episode uh, is called Seven Seas to Danger. And um, it, it's not bad. It, it, the writing is reasonably good. And in a half-hour show, you got to get through the story pretty quickly. And if you're lucky, there's one twist, you know, where we discover the real murderer, that kind right. of thing. But I, so will, I, I will, I will, I, like I, will I, I will say uh, this to you. This is typical of the stuff that uh, uh, Vintage Film Channel has held on to, made look 
better than the original in many cases. And now she's colorizing stuff. So uh, yeah. we, we've got a whole bunch of stuff uh, coming up in the next couple of weeks that she's colorized, but uh, she's done a good job with it. It's got the complete storyline in there. And some of these are just hard to find any place. So if you want to see something that was very typical of the time of the early 50s, uh, you're going to find plenty of examples of this. And I think she has more than one uh, uh, front page detective. Uh... Yeah, it was, a, it was a series that uh, ran, I think, what, 51 and 52? Is that right? right? And she's, uh, I think it had like 46 episodes, but she has a number of them. And yeah. it's like everything else. She's accumulated this potpourri of, of, of eclectic films and uh, some not so. Uh, strange, and it's just a pleasure to be able to have this wide range of things to go back and have a nostalgic look at our past. Yeah, you got to go to vintagefilmchannel.com and YouTube slash Vintage Film Channel and uh, look at the wide variety, as Art mentions, that uh, Gracie has put up there. And look up uh, Seven Seas uh, to Danger and the uh, front page detective. Anyway, hope you will enjoy, uh, will enjoy it as much as we have. And please uh, uh, encourage Gracie to uh, add more films like this uh, by subscribing to her channel. And if you like the film, like the film. And if you didn't, don't like it, you know, there's a thumbs down as well. And uh, please go come visit uh, other things that we have on Celebrating Act 2 so that you get more fun out of the second half of your life. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.